Yeah, indeed. You know, the past two years was uh, really difficult, and um, you know, starting a new team, start the whole thing, and then the pandemic came, and it was really difficult to cope with the feeling. But you know, our team owner, Mr. Mr. Reves, he was just great. You know, all the way through, he always said that keep going, keep going, guys. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And um, he pushed us forward, and uh, and we could do our thing. We started from zero in uh, in uh, in January of uh, 2020. Yes. Yes. And uh, we, we at, at the time we thought we don't have much time because the season was supposed to start in the end of April mm -hmm. here in Misano, I think. And uh, we knew that we have like two and a half months or three months stops. That's why we haven't started to build a new track. In the end, we had a lot of time because you know everything was postponed. So it it was. The time was good for us. We had a team like this in this this time, um, and in in that amount of time, yeah. it was just only possible with, with someone like Mr. Davis. Like yeah. no, nobody else would have yeah. said to keep going. You know, like for yeah. sure. 14 and 15 was very very different. Two very different years to do it with, with such a young team. Yeah, I don't think there there ever was a team in track racing history that could do it so quickly yeah. like in the first two years and to, to win the, uh, the, the drivers championship and the, the team championship as well together with uh, Antonio and his sport there now yeah. so that that's also a very nice achievement heads off to the guys all of them because they did such an amazing job and they they never never tell me to to leave them alone you know and <laughs> yeah. they never send me away you know all with my all with my ideas and the quests you know yeah. and stupid things sometimes and my maximalism um, they always try to do the best so yeah. it's, I am you know really happy we have a lot to do there is always room to improve